I'm Sheila Coronel. I am um, the Stabile Professor for Investigative Journalism at Columbia University. But prior to that, I was for many years the Executive Director of the Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism. My advice to those who want to do investigative reporting is first familiarize yourself with public records. Documents are the investigative journalist's best friend. We use documents in investigating everything from organized crime to corruption to environmental degradation. We've been particularly successful. Our, my experience back in the Philippines, we've successfully used documents to prove corruption. What we've done is instead of you know, following, you know, instead of trying to see whether bribes are being paid, we reversed the process. So we looked at what people were doing from the money they had received, because that's easier to prove. Because investigative reporting is about providing evidence proving evidence of wrongdoing. The wrongdoing that's easiest to prove is acquisitions of property, land, cars, um, aircraft, yachts, that people have acquired because of illegally acquired money. So that's easier to prove than how they acquire the money. So we've been very successful in that. And our experience is not unique. Everywhere in the world, whether it's the United States or South Africa or the Balkans, officials who dip their fingers in the public purse have been found out because of the way of, of because not so much because they were caught dipping their fingers but, but by how they spent the money that they had stolen from the people.